tutorial we're going to talk about how to use uh, this website called ASAP or ASAP is just uh, a sample species by automatic partitioning so this allow us to cluster the sequence that are similar enough to each other sort of automatically assign the species based on the sequence so uh, the data you need for this website uh, for this uh, ASAP methodology is your typical FASTA file. So let me show you how, like your typical FASTA file here. So that your FASTA file with the sequence name and your DNA sequences. So this, um, once you have this, and this should be aligned already, so that um, the alignment is usable because uh, the program will calculate the genetic distance among the sequence. So once you have this, it's very simple. You just choose the file. So in this case, this is my uh, FASTA file here. And the next up, you provide them FASTA file. You have three choices of genetic distance. So Duke Kenders, assuming all the best change to be equal, and Kimura, KAD have the transition and transversion ratio or will you can leave it as default or you can have a simple p distance in this case if you use barcoding region it's typical to use kimura uh, distance but you can choose any other distance as well and once you've done that you have your file here you choose your distance and select go It'll take a little while to run it won't take too long but if you did a speak they would take longer so the output this is output it's going to look a bit complicated but it'll walk you through it so up here on the left it show your file and the number of sequence you input in 13 sequences and the length of 2000 and this is your model and this is the speed p value. You don't have to worry too much about it. And if you want to see the under the hood file, you can click here. You don't have to. And this is the main result. If you have any question, you can always click the FAQ here. This will provide you more detail how to read the results and so on and so forth. So here is the main result you want to look at so the best number of subset should be on the first row here so the best number of subset or number of species you recover from this sequence is four species the ASAP score the lowest is better and that's a threshold basically how they separate the within species from between species so this is distance um, among the sequence of supposedly the same species and then this is a distance between the species and you can look at the graph here and this show the base uh, ASF score at one is over here and this is where you separate into four species one two three four so which is right around here for ASF score equal one. So this is a bit hard to look at. So the slightly easier way is to come here to view or say a box set subset graph. Here is showing a more summarized uh, version of the result. This is a tree based on the sequence and the rank is the best subset. So rank one is right here. So this is the best result that separate them into four subset uh, ASF score equal one so subset number one two three and four this one have three sequences two sequences four sequences and four sequences here so this is the best uh, partition best subset the other are possible but not highly ranked the second one is here but it's not as good as this one so we would take this one as the best result or if you have a hard time looking at that you can always click here uh, at the list of csv this would download the result into text or into csv and you go back to your download um, folder you can drag them here to view them so this would show you that like all the banky eye here record uh, belong to uh, group one and Takamani I here belong to group two 
and Flacida belong to group three and Lily Fola belong to group four. All the other options would be like group the sequence by group here. So here you are with the example of how to use ASAP. Have any questions, just leave them in comment and I'll try to respond as much as I can. All right.